guys, Charmaine here. Um, today I'm just going to do kind of um, a soft color look. It's a white base with just a little bit of blue. I think it's a great way to wear a little bit of color without going completely over the top and feeling like, you know, you have a ton of makeup on. Um, it's snowed out, so this is like the perfect, like, ice princess look, I think. It's just going to be really soft and shimmery um, and really pretty, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, to begin with, I'm going to use my stack of Color Revolution eyeshadows, and I'm just going to take this really white, um, shimmery one. And if you do this without, um, without adding water or a conditioner like I'm going to show you, then the color is going to be more sheer. And I just want something with a little bit, a little bit more pigment, and I want it to actually show up as being more white, shimmery than just, you know, like a sheer, just sparkle. So what I'm going to do is in the cap of um, the eyeshadow, I'm going to spray a little bit of leave-in conditioner. You can do this with water too. Um, I just like leave-in conditioner a little bit better because I think the stain power is longer and when you do it with water, it has a tendency to crumble up. But if you do it with leave-in conditioner, then it's a more silky um, texture and it just glides on. So I'm just going to stick, I'm using my um, smudger brush. I'm just going to stick that in the powder and then I'm just going to rub this in with the liquid or with the leave-in conditioner and this is just going to kind of form a paste well not really a paste it's a little more it's a little more liquidy than that and then I'm just going to pat this right on so if you see the color is a lot more um, pigmented this way you can do this with pretty much all loose eyeshadow as long as it's finely um, Family ground, I think it works best if it's like a mineral eyeshadow just because of the nature of how they're kind of made and how how finely ground they are. So I'm just going to apply this all over the lid. Just want to make sure you don't have any smudge marks. It's the only thing that's kind of hard about this. And just go a little bit up into the crease. Okay, and then I'm going to go right underneath. inside corner and if you get too much then just wipe it away okay so this is still a little bit wet on my eye right now so I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush and dip that into the dry powder blow it off and then I'm just going to set this right on top of the shadow that we just did and this is just going to kind of form a barrier so that it doesn't rub off as easily and I did do um, a little bit of eye primer underneath if you don't want to with this unless you have really oily eyelids it's not necessary just because um, where it's a more like paste like consistency it kind of holds a little bit better it's like a cream eyeshadow with more staying powder power. Okay, so just take that all around. So now instead of being like wet and sticky, it's dry. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna use my um, BH Cosmetics First Edition palette now, and I'm using it's kind of like a cerulean blue. It's got a little bit of shimmer to it. And I'm just going to take a fluffy brush. Blow off any excess. And then just go start doing circles right in the outside corner. And just kind of blend that into the crease. And because that base underneath is so shimmery, it's going to come out really, 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 really shimmery and pretty. I love this for winter. Okay, and then I'm just going to take and kind of drag that color from the out outside corner towards the middle of your eye, and that's just going to give you like a seamless connection between the white and the blue. Okay, take a little bit of that. Just go right underneath. Okay, 
Now I'm going to take in the same palette, in the green, yellow kind of side, I'm just going to take a little bit of a darker. It's kind of in the same like cerulean type family. It's just a little bit darker just to give a little bit more depth to the eye. Then this is just going to go right in the inside corner. If you hear like a weird flopping sound in the background, it's the dogs. And it sounds really gross. Okay, now I'm just going to take, um, with the same brush that I did, like the white shimmering to kind of dry up um, the more liquidy color that we did, I'm just going to take a flat matte white and I'm just going to go right around this blue edge. This is just going to soften the line, blend it out. It's not going to give you, you know, too much shimmer. Being that the whole eye shimmery, I really don't want to take that all the way to the brow bone. It's just going to soften that up. And then I'm going to go underneath with that too. And this will also kind of help dust and get rid of um, any fallout that you have. So just check and make sure both sides are even. Looks like this comes up a little higher on the other side. So I'm just going to even that out. And what most people fail to do when they do their makeup is they really fail to just take the time to keep going over and blending it out. That way you don't have like, you know, lines. Okay, I'm just going to take um, an eyeliner pencil, or an eyeliner br brush, I'm sorry, I don't know why I can't think today, and my gel eyeliner. I'm just using a black. And I'm just going to go, I don't want to start in the inside corner. I don't want any liner from here to about where my iris starts. So I'm just going to start kind of in the middle. You can make it just a little bit thicker on the ends. I don't want just a drop off of color here, so you do want to finish the line. But I'm just going to go underneath to do that. That way there's not like a drop off of color but it also doesn't go straight into the inside corner. Do you see that? Okay, and then I just want to fill this line in, make it a little bit darker. Go underneath. I'm just going to pull this line out just a little bit. Okay. I'm going to take my white eyeliner pencil and I'm just going to line my waterline with this all the way into the inside corner. So I'm actually going to take this up and around just a little bit too. Just because I want this inside corner to be really light and bright. And then just fill in the waterline. Okay, I'm going to um, curl my eyelashes and put my mascara on and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and did my mascara and my eyebrows and I just did my eyebrows really light. I didn't want them too defined or heavy since this is kind of a lighter look. Um, but when doing your, well, when you're doing your um, mascara, just make sure you get into the far corners on both sides just because you really want kind of like a fluttery um, full eyelash if you want to do fake lashes for this look. I think that that would be really pretty too. Um, for blush, I'm just going to use a really light kind of like peachy pink color. I'm just going to put this right on my cheekbones. 
kind of in that line from the top of your ear to just below the middle of your eye. A bit down the nose. Okay, and then I'm going to take a cream based highlighter, and this is going to go right on the cheekbones in kind of like a C type motion just to give this really soft satin finish to the face. Same thing on the other side. And this just makes it really pretty when the light hits and kind of picks up a little bit of that shimmer. And I'm do, gonna do just a little bit straight down the center of my nose. Okay, now I'm gonna take just um, a loose, a loose shimmery powder. This is the um, Illuminating Powder by MAC in Silver Dusk. And since my whole face is pretty much covered in powder, I'm just going to set this shimmer with a little bit of powder as well. So it'll just help it to stay on a little bit longer. If you have like a cream-based foundation and you're not using a powder over it, then I would stick with more cream-based products, you know, do like a cream blush. But if you're doing um, your foundation and then a powder, then I would go back over it with a powder as well. Otherwise, it just kind of gets gunky and slides off. I'm going to use um, a pretty pink lipstick. It doesn't go on that dark. This is um, Revlon Color Burst in Carnation. If you don't feel comfortable rocking, you know, a pink lip, then by all means, don't. <laughs> okay, and then I'm just going to go over this with kind of like a light peachy pink gloss. Just gives it kind of like when you go over it with this gloss, it gives it kind of like a more bubble gummy pink color. Okay, so this is the finished look. Um, just really soft. Like I said, I think it's really great for winter because it kind of reminds me of like snow and ice, how everything's really frosty um, with just, you know, a bubble, bubble gum pink lip. Um, let me know how you like it. Hopefully, you know, it'll be a fun look that everybody can try. Like I said, it's not too over the top with the color and everything, but it's still fun um, to kind of play around with and everything. But let me know how you guys like it. Rate, comment, subscribe, follow me on my blog. Um, and I'll have a list of all the products on my blog. I forgot to do that for my last video, so I'm going to go ahead and edit that um, so that you can see what I did for my brown smoky look video. And just keep the requests coming. Let me know what you want to see. And I will see you guys in the next video.